How's it going guys? My name is Dave Pulley. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I get thousands of items to resell on eBay and specifically electronics. If you guys learned something in this video, uh, please drop a like and comment three eagle emojis or subscribe. Either one of those is fine with me. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, so the way I get thousands of products, thousands of electronics really, because I mainly stay with electronics, is I have been going to flea markets for about three years now. And it took me about a year and a half to really get a good supplier uh, phone line that, um, you know, they trust me and I trust them and we work together uh, pretty good. Yeah, it took me about a year and a half of looking, looking, looking and, um, you know, building it up slowly. It's not quick. It's not easy, uh, but it can be done. Um, definitely. Um, there are some people that get extremely good product for an extremely good price. Um, there are some people that pay 150 to make 200 bucks, uh, but I'm more in the middle. Um, you know, I'm probably like 50% profit after taxes, after warehouse, after everything, which is really good for me. I'm really happy with that. Um, some people are, you know, they want bigger profit margins. I'm cool with that. Some people want smaller ones. So yeah, guys, I'm going to show you guys my warehouse really quick. All right, guys. So these are the electronics that I'm getting ready for tomorrow. Um, hard drives that I'm going to connect and see what's going on with them. Uh, camcorders uh scanners uh you know cameras walkie talkies all that all that generic uh stuff that i always get that you guys can see on my ebay store which is down below um you know batteries these are like 40 bucks uh this is like 180 right here you know it's it's these are like 100 it's a uh, mid-tier small tier and all that stuff my the bulk of my store is made up of all these items um i get these very often and in the last three months, I've been really focusing on getting these kind of items higher. Um, and I have a ton of, you know, more expensive receivers. I don't pick them up unless they're like at least 150 and up uh, pre-owned because some of them don't work. I'll make a video on how I test them. Some of them don't work, but if they're like 150 and up pre-owned, I'll take them. And if they're for parts, I can still list them for like 80, 75. So it's a mixture of four parts and pre-owned items. And the really tricky part is um, testing. Them. I personally take a good amount of risk with the product that I get because it's extremely hard to know exactly if it is working or not. Um, and I've sold about 18,000 items on eBay. And what I do now is I've gone pretty good at testing most of them. And I've gone really good at, you know, kind of guessing. So that's just what comes with electronics. It's not like a shirt where you just try it on and it's a medium. Uh, so... You know, I test to a certain extent, but like with cameras, I have a, an adapter where I can test a bunch of batteries out. And there's some cameras that honestly, I'd have to order a battery. It's gonna take more time for me to do all that. So I'm just like, okay, I don't think this will work for parts, or I do think it will work pre-owned. And I've gotten pretty good with that. And with like selling 1200 items a month, I'll probably get like 60 returns. And uh, I don't know what the percentage is exactly. I think I'm like at 6%. I'm fine with that for, the amount of time that I save by not testing everything. So this more. right here is, um, so right here I had two big old boxes that sold, so it's empty right now, but a ton of receivers, a ton of subwoofers, bigger items, more expensive stuff. Uh, I've been pulling the trigger on more stuff like this. These are full of brand new subwoofers that I have for like $80 each, and they're replenishables. Um, microwaves, these are like 300 each. Uh, one, this is like 350. Uh, this is like 400, 350. And this thing right here is like a thousand. It's really higher end stuff, more on these racks, uh, more replenishables. There's six items in here that are $60 each and there are 70 total. Um, and yeah, I've just been buying a lot of replenishables, bigger items uh, that cost more and then also getting the bulk of that. Today we focused on posting a bunch of like, you know, bigger stuff. And then tomorrow we're gonna just do small stuff. And I've been switching and switching it uh pretty consistently one day we do a bunch of this one day we do a bunch of that and that's how, what i've been doing and it's about 70 percent of my store full of this and all these white items and like 30 percent of my store of uh you know 100 and up type deal 150 dollars and up so yeah guys if you guys just wanted a website link to go buy items to get this kind of product this is not the video for that um the way i do it is the hard way it's not the easy way I built my connections very slowly um, with charisma and being nice to people and like, hey, you want some breakfast uh, before I get there? Stuff like that. I did it the hard way. I didn't just, you know, look online, find a supplier, go to them, buy it. 
that's really not how eBay works when you're dealing with pre-owned stuff. You kind of have to do the dirty work. You have to go look manually, physically, and you have to build connections with a person face-to-face. -face. That's the way I do it. I do it the hard way. I don't just get a connect in China where I buy a bunch of electronics to sell on eBay. That's not the way I do it. So if you, um, you know, are interested in learning more about how I do my business, did about over $300,000 last year on eBay um, in sales, uh, you know, not profit or anything like that. But yeah, if you guys want to learn more, consider subscribing, drop a like, uh, eagle emojis. That's how I get thousands of electronics to resell on eBay. This video is sponsored by the Lowball Kings podcast that I do with my buddy Colin Hayes. He did about $450,000 on eBay last year. He does the same thing. We have similar suppliers. We kind of share some suppliers um, and we buy stuff off each other and uh, we've been doing it. Uh, we started together like in a garage. We started from the bottom as, as bottom as it can get. And now we have warehouses each and we started a podcast, 30 minute free videos on the YouTube. Go check it out. Link is down below. Lowball Kings on YouTube. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys later.